Welcome to Dearborn Park. In a couple of minutes, 20 new contestants are going to be here competing in the backyard version of the greatest reality game show in television history, Survivor. In high school, I did a lot of speech and debate and theater type stuff like that. I really think my speaking abilities are going to help me a lot in Survivor Dearborn because it's going to give me the ability to persuade uh, and to manipulate other people into doing really what I want them to do, to vote how I want them to. For some of them though, this isn't an ordinary game of Survivor. Three pairs of siblings are among the cast. The Hancock twins, the Rich brothers, and the Iquinello sisters. They aren't just going to be competing against the other contestants, but each other. As a freshman, I got the school record for the two mile, keeping it away from my brother. For cross country, I did have the record, but then in the last state meet, he took it from me. I will definitely try to beat Michael in Survivor because I don't want him to beat me. Playing with my sister would be a big strength. We can read each other's minds pretty much. We got a good connection going. Like literally give her one look and she already knows what it means. Playing with Elena, uh, I mean we beat each other up a lot and I'm stronger than her so any day I can beat her. Playing with my brother is kind of a weakness and a strength in this game. I think it's a strength because I might be able to use him, but I also think that people could vote me out because they want my little brother to go farther than me as a joke, I don't even know. People are stupid. Among the other contestants is a United States Naval Academy student, a Division I football player at the University of Michigan, and a lifeguard. For the past three weeks, I have been at a certain survivor training camp, um, learning how to make fires, weathering bug bites, uh, you know, living in the wilderness. It was three weeks long. It was gruesome, but it uh, got me ready. I'll just tell you that. I don't think anybody else is as ready as I am. I guess the basic rundown of what I've done so far in life. I got a 36 on the ACT. I'm going to play football at Michigan. I was like in the top five kids in my class. I definitely think challenges will be my biggest strength in this game. Uh, my strategy going in is to just win every challenge, so if I have immunity for the whole game, I can't lose. They'll be forced to work together, face the elements, but also face each other. Only one will come out on top and claim the $100 prize in the title of Soul Survivor. Three days, 20 people, one survivor. My name is Andre Senderpita. I am 17. I probably describe myself as like, you know, kind of quiet. My biggest strength is probably going to be people like usually sleep on me. I usually like more reserved. The people don't see it coming. I'm uh, Patrick Byrne. Some of the sports I play are soccer, karate, taekwondo, jiu-jitsu, and uh, three other Japanese words. With soccer, you know, you have to kick a ball a lot, so I think that'll help me you know, kick some balls. I'm Anna, I'm 18 years old, I'm a retired grocery store cashier. My biggest strength is that I'm going to have a lot of team spirit. The easiest way to guarantee yourself a spot at the merge is don't have your team go to tribal. 
So if you have a lot of team spirit and a lot of unity, then you're gonna win your challenges and you don't have to worry about getting eliminated. My name is Emily Reinhardt. I am 18, so I'm legal. My strategy is to scheme so hard that like I'm playing so many people at once that they don't know what's going on, and then like I just come out on top. Welcome to Survivor Dearborn Season 2. This season is going to be called Survivor Blood vs. Water. How do you think playing with your brother will affect us? Uh, you know, I don't think people should target us as an alliance right away. You know, me and my brother, we fight like all the I mean, I love him, but this is Survivor. You gotta play to win. Do you feel the same way, Henry? Yes. I'm uh, Henry Rich, Charlie's little brother. I'm 14. Uh, I feel like no one will expect me because of my age. My biggest strength in this game will probably be my social skills to make alliances. My big sweetness. Might be my challenge strength in the events. Jacob, yeah. knowing that there's uh, three pairs of siblings, how does that affect your gameplay? To be honest, I don't think it really is going to. I think, you know, like Charlie and Henry both said, when it comes down to it, it is Survivor. And uh, I think in the end, it's just all kind of water, no blood. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, I walk around. You guys see your name. Grab your buff. Don't open it until I say so. I think it's paper towel. Can we use this coin? <laughs> Alright guys, when I say go, unwrap your buffs. If you have a blue buff, head to the my left. You have the red, and my right. Oh, go ahead. Did you say open? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Blue team, let's go! Woo! Yeah! 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 Ryan, looking at the tribes, how do you feel? I feel very excited to compete and win because our tribe has the color red and then it's blood. <laughs> Matt, how do you feel about your tribe right now? I think we're pretty strong and we have anchors on our buffs. All right, that's good. All right, so red tribe, you guys are gonna be heading that way. Blue tribe, you guys are gonna be heading that way. So I'll see you guys back here for your first challenge. So just got here, just met everyone. There's a lot of people that I don't know, which I was not expecting. So I brought a hammock as my first item to sleep in, you know, sleep is important. And then my second item, it's technically one item, but it counts as two. So I brought a cooler, right? And I filled it with ice. And then I put tomatoes in there. <laughs> Cause I love tomatoes. And nobody else likes tomatoes. So they're not gonna ask me for a tomato. And then I'm not gonna have to say, no, you can't have one and then make enemies, you know? So. Uh, also, tomatoes are like 75% water, so if you eat one, it's like drinking a glass of water, too. So, yeah, it's good. Setting up. Uh, I got a hammock. Got to find some trees. So, um, hopefully there's some back here. We have to go in the bushes. Oh, yeah, we're keeping this footage. I don't know. Honestly, Haley, you're going to be like sleeping in branches. Dang. Wait, so these can't support you at all? I mean, I don't know. I'm pretty sure she can hang between them. Because this is literally like, like the perfect distance. Like, Kaylee's really white. I don't think she's going to break. Yeah. Got it? How do you do it? Is I don't know. I, I don't know. Okay. You're not even going to make it to the first chair. TBH, this hammock is a double, so. Yeah. 
Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want to use the bathroom? No. 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 no I don't have it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go look. Right, look yeah, around. Too. Hey, wait, wait. Okay, we, I think we should, we should find one to fly. Great. Me, you, think of me. I think that one should be the biggest battle ever. But he's really dumb. I'm gonna try to merge me. Right out of the gate, Cam Golden comes up to me and we instantly start strategizing. Right now what it's looking like is it's gonna be me, Cam, and Santana. We're gonna try and push to the final three. Then we have Val, who we're gonna try and blindside closer to the merge. And then we're also thinking about picking up Delano and Haley, which would give us a majority, but really it's just gonna end up being the final three. We're trying to make like a five here. Like join five or five? But yeah, who's your five? We have Jacob and Santana. We're trying to get you in. Okay. But do you have any other, uh, other like, canoodles with anyone else? Well, like, I haven't really been canoodling. Yeah. I guess. I don't know. I just I don't really know how to play, so. Because um, I don't know. Yeah, what we like, have what, a consensus that we're going to probably get Gainer out first try. Okay. <laughs> yeah, whatever you think, I don't know. Yeah, I think we have a pretty good challenge team, so I don't think we have to worry about that too much. But like, I don't know. I just don't know. I think it could be a threat if he gets past the merge with Charlie. I can see that. But like, I don't see an S1 now. <laughs> you know, at all. And neither do I. Yeah. But like, as long as we get a strong enough group, we could definitely like, we could definitely yeah. like, farm. Yeah. We can definitely like, keep going strong. As long as we have five yeah. people that are like, yeah. you know, we're not like swayed, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I also like I feel like very confident about the challenges with our like with our tribe. So I don't think we have to worry about it too much because I feel like we're gonna win and like we're gonna be immune, you know? Yeah. But okay, so I, I'm just I really trying Henry, to get Henry, to merge. But yeah, Henry, I think Henry and uh, Delano, not Delano, Henry and uh, McGain are definitely know we're talking, so they're gonna try to talk to someone. See okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. Everyone's out there in the wilderness of Dearborn looking for the idol right now. I'll be honest, I'm not really gonna. You know, waste my energy on that anymore. You know, maybe gonna wait it out for like a clue from one of the challenges or something if we can get one of those. Uh, plus, you know, like everyone's looking for it. I feel like if you find it, they're just gonna know you have an idol now and that's just gonna put a target on your back. So I think I'm just gonna lay low, try and stay cool in the heat and get ready to crush some challenges. Hey, Cam, I have a question. If I do find one, do I tell people? No, you don't. Okay. I, actually, okay. it depends what you wanna do. Because the immunity idols, it's whoever has it, shows it, you know? Mm -hmm. So if you think you're gonna get voted out, you want to use it then. Got it. you think you're like, because Brendan had one, but then he got voted out. <laughs> yeah. That boy frustrates yeah. me. Yeah. I was looking for the immunity idol for about a minute and a half maybe, and I found this thing. So it says, congratulations, you have found an immunity, hidden immunity idol. You may share this information with everyone or no one. It's up to you. You may play this up until the final five. After that, it is not in play. In order to play, give it to Dom when he asks if there's any idols to be played. All votes, cast free will not count. Simple minded people. Brendan told me to look wherever you think it won't be, and yeah, I found it. I was like, you know, it's probably right here. And then I uh, found it. That was pretty cool, you know? Yeah, now I get to be immune. That's what Cam's telling us. In the game right now, I definitely see the older kids and then the younger kids grouping up. And uh, I kind of think Cam has the uh, hidden immunity idol right now, because when he went out to do a confessional, he seems pretty happy, so that's what I feel like in the game right now. As my greatest ally right now, I probably see Anthony, because same age as me and I know him the best out of the people right now. I do have an alliance with Brenner and Delano too. I don't really trust Matt Gaynor right now. I have him in alliance, so I can use him to get my vote, but I don't think he'll be with us for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. But, hmm. Anthony's gonna try to get So, I don't know, he seems to be aligned with them right now, though. Yeah, I thought Gaynor's can. He wants to. That's true. He's gonna. Like, he's camping for the sun and I'm He's back for a strong time. 
we're going to need to vote him out before the merge. Yeah. If he needs to merge, he's going to He's going to win us individual every time. Yeah. I think probably the thing's biggest accent is uh, Cameron Cody, but I'd also see, say he's the most risky because he's strong and he can eat a lot of food, but if we get to the merge and he's still in it, hope I can sign you in a second. I mean, I think I have a pretty strong alliance. Me, the man, Anthony, Cody. You good? It's on the pop. No, it's not on the pop at all. Does that, this area count like, as well? He's going to try and get Cam to join. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Uh, Henry, Henry's the only one I'm talking to. He says Anthony's going to try to get me to join. What do you guys say? I was like, I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's see. So do they think that you're talking about me joining? Yeah, probably so. Okay. So yeah, because do you want to try to do that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I don't know. We got Haley, so that can hit. Is she going to try and bring him away? I think she will. What the, what the thing is, we can like tell everyone they're in, but right. no one's truly in unless we're the four people we are so right. far, okay? Right, yeah. So, right. Truly in yeah. One. so I've formed an alliance with a couple of guys, and they keep saying we're a really strong team, which I'm surprised because I'm a very weak human being. I think me and Cam are going to be pretty close during this game, and I'm going to try to help him out as much as he can help me. I think we just made an alliance with some of the other girls, which is good. So I'm not just the only girl in a group of guys. It makes me slightly uncomfortable, but that's okay. I'm here to play the game. I don't like to I'm pretty confident about my team, but um, I'm in an alliance with seven people, and all seven are on the other team, so that's not really going to help me out. All right, man. Well, I think we're gonna crush the challenges, so yeah. I don't think we'll have to worry about it yet. Yeah. No, we don't. <laughs> we'll see. I mean, we're probably gonna say all this now, and we'll end up on the show, and then we'll be stupid because we'll lose the first challenge. <laughs> well, I know, I know. I, I talked to hey, Delano, and he like, kind of was really... I think we really need to uh, come together as one yeah. the challenge coming up. Guys, yeah, yeah, seriously. Yeah. yeah. Okay, ready? All right, make oh. sure everyone pee. Everyone get over here! Hey, everyone huddle up! I think we it need to uh, have a little Yeah. <laughs> come together as one for this challenge, you know? It's Nobody's gonna like make it to the merge, you know? It's already the first so, time, like, yeah. we're already coming Right, <laughs> so let's all come together as one. We need to really work together. We need to think now more than long term. Yeah. yeah. Well, like, also, if we win this challenge, we don't need to I know, so if we win, we're win. fine. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, we're gonna have to communicate, because we don't know each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just, like, know. around, like, the yeah. yeah. I think that it would be safe if, if, I don't know if you're okay with this, is just to be the leader during the challenges, especially in the first few, because I think, like you said, communication is really important, okay. and you seem to really jump in there. Definitely. Yeah, Anybody so. can come to me with any concerns, you know, yeah. I, I will so definitely... Team leader. Team leader. Yeah. 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 At first we were all like really canoodling, like nobody was talking to each other, and then I was like, you know what guys, we have a team challenge coming up with all of us, so we all huddled up. Um, I'm a little worried because Brenner kind of called me out as a target by like asking me to be the leader, which I'm flattered, but also puts a target on my back. So I'm definitely gonna try and deflect that onto Val because I know that he will definitely be a strong leader as well. Well, that's good. I think we got some fast, we got a pretty fast team. So uh, we just had a little team meeting for our first challenge. I feel kind of bad because Haley set her up as like, uh, herself up as the leader. I know they always get targeted, so I don't know how that's gonna work out for her. We'll see. We'll keep an eye on that, not get too close in alliance with that if she's gonna become a target, so. Excited for the first challenge, though. If we're gonna get out there and crush it, yeah, I think athletic. we're gonna win the challenge. We have a really like, athletic team. Like the only way that I think we're gonna lose challenges is if it's like basketball, Matthew. mental <laughs> stuff, like yeah. mental Matthew stuff. Like, or something, or something like. I, I definitely, yeah, yeah, I'm totally looking around now and a lot of people are runners I don't, I don't really want anyone to get eliminated for, like, though. Heavy it's going to be kind of sad, you know what I mean? Like yeah. I don't want to get eliminated. Like, I kind of like our team. <laughs> well, I think I'm just going to like get in some shade and <laughs> chill until the challenge. Okay, gonna... But that was nice to everyone, so it got me there. Sorry. Welcome to my humble abode. I hope, yeah. Pile of rocks. Charlie, that's not your fence back there, is it? Actually, the wood one? The wood fence is not yours? The short one's my fence. Okay, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Because that's what I do. I scrub fences. You do? Where do you? I just scrub my grandpa's fence. Oh, I was like, do you just go to people's houses and be like, yeah, I can scrub your fence for like 20 bucks? under your name for the editing is fence scrubber. No, it's a volunteer nurse assistant. No, I rock babies at the hospital. Oh, that's so awesome. All right, now I know we're going to win. My new tribe's great. Everyone so far is a little friendly. 
and it seems like we have a lot of strong, like well-rounded competitors, Division One college athletes, future All-Americans. We got all-around good people, and I know that the blue team has Val, who is an All-Star. But other than that, I think we're, I think we got these couple of next next couple of challenges on lock. Is there staff in this park? Why are they all locked up? Uh, no. 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 I don't think it's much. Yeah. Wait, give me your hand. Oh, good idea. <laughs> <laughs> all of them. Every piece. Give me the other one. Okay. Hey, guys. Oh, are we training? Yeah. Uh, Really That's what I'm gonna do if I find the idol. Everyone's allowed to use it for themselves. I just thought, like, no, I like that. for a team aspect, because that's something you can fall back on for the merge and not just get swept by the other tribe, you know. So so far, we spent the first half of our time here at camp looking for the immunity idols, but I don't think we found any yet. Uh, so second half, we just kind of been relaxing. I think a key for us is just keeping the team together. Charlie and I have been talking a lot just about how to game plan moving forward, trying to win some of the challenges and try and get as many guys from here as we can to the merge. So I guess that's really our biggest game plan at this point is just rest up, stay hydrated. Well, it's pretty hot out, pretty bored. Not really that fun looking for idols. Uh, I don't think anyone's found one. Maybe Anna has. I like saw her like looking pretty suspicious. I don't know. Yeah. First time I've so far I've pulled a Sean. I found a beer can, a sprite can a bent frisbee, and a Tupperware bowl. So that's a lot of interesting shebang. And I don't know what's going on with these idols. Who to tell yet? I think I'm gonna tell Charlie, but I'm not gonna tell Evan because I don't I don't fully trust Evan right now. I don't know him too well, but I also have kind of something going with Lily and Michael. So what I'm planning to do is uh, I'm gonna try to keep like the younger kids and those two on my side, and we're just gonna try to get rid because there's like an alliance already forming between everybody else. So what I'm gonna try to do is uh, basically keep their votes loyal to me and get all of them to the merge. And then from there, you know, they each have a contact from the other team. They have siblings, so hopefully their siblings make it through and that can help them through it. What we need to do is keep the team together. Because I want to get as many people from my team through the merge as possible. Yeah. That way we have Purple team. Yeah, purple team, yeah. for sure. For the first step. And I feel like, you know how like Martin, and Ashley, and Laura, they have that, like, I feel like if we do that, we can honestly go far. I did too. Me, Emily, and Evan want to sign. We decided that there would be three of us. And then that Lily, Anna, and uh, Michael would be loyal to Emily, and hopefully we can pull some votes that way. You know, I don't completely trust Emily right now, because I feel like she's been saying this to a lot of people. I've seen her talking to, like, Anna, I've seen her talking to Lily, and so I'm hoping that she is being true enough, if it is, then me, her, and Evan can definitely make it far. We have connections on the other tribe, and I think we'll make it far together. Yeah, I just walk like a center. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk out like this way. I really feel like we haven't talked to him much. I don't know how I feel about my team right now. Seems like we're just grouping around. I feel like we need to assert some leadership. It's my house already. We, we don't have to have a leader, I'm just saying, you know. Yeah. For these beginning stages, I feel like, you know, we need somebody to take a role. 
Why don't you try? Uh, I can't do that. It's not for me. All right, man. I don't know. I, th I feel like it might be singling me out. If you got something in here. I think we have a pretty strong team. I'm just worried about, you know, alliances, things like that. I think Emily, she's typically a, a loud person. She's been kind of quiet, so uh, I gotta watch out for her. And uh, I feel like I can work something out with Charlie and talking a little bit. See what happens. We're all gonna be in the first challenge, but yeah. like right now, I think our mind's not prepared for that. I think our mind's just looking for idols, and I think it just shows that we're not unified right now. Yeah. Right. We're it's not every unified. man for himself right now. <laughs> <laughs> right when we got here, Patrick, who I don't really know that well, just immediately started looking for idols. That really, really scares me a little bit. I don't think we're completely unified right now. I think there's definitely an alliance between. Andre, Patrick, and Gian. Our first plan, we're thinking Patrick because he's been kind of shifty. He already singled me out as like, he's like, be our leader. And I was like, man, like, I don't want to do that. But I mean, like, if I have to, I will. But I think he's going for sure. Hey, Charlie? What? Are we allowed to climb your trees? Uh, as long as you don't snap a tree in half. <laughs> It's the first day. We just got here. Everyone's looking for immunity idols. I don't really know if we should be doing that right now. I'm just trying to have some fun. I think Charlie too, you know, wants to build the team bonding a little first before we can, you know, secure immunity. Because if we just win all the challenges, we don't need, you know, to have individual immunity yet. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. Come on in, guys. Not everyone has to stand on the towel. Let's we'll start with the Red Tribe. Gian, how's your camp life? It's actually pretty great. We're pretty unified right now. We're very trusting, and we have a really good base. Yeah. All right, Blue Tribe. Cam, how's camp life over at Blue Tribe? We had like a meeting, and like we all said our strengths and weaknesses. So, uh, <laughs> go Blue Team. Yeah, Red Team doesn't have any weaknesses. For uh, today's challenge, you guys will be playing for reward and immunity. Ooh. For today's challenge, one by one, eight people will run out to collect a solo cup. They'll bring it back and the next person will go. Once all eight solo cups are brought back, two puzzle people will work together to complete a phrase. First tribe to do this wins immunity. Some cups are blank. If you see a blank cup, don't pick it up. That's not part of your puzzle. You guys want to know what you're playing for? Yeah! yeah. All right. Yes, Jeff. Immunity. Ooh. Also, winning tribe is gonna get two weatherproof tarps. Good for sleeping on. In case it rains, you can protect yourself. Losing tribe gets this. Yeah, all right. Bless it. I'll give you guys a moment to strategize. Let's get to it. All right. For blue tribe, runners are Haley, Anthony, Delano, Elena, Val, Cam. Matt and Henry with Jacob and Santana on puzzle. For Red Tribe, we got Gian, Emily, Patrick, Lily, Charlie, Michael, Andre, and Ryan. And for puzzle, we have Evan and Anna. You guys know what you're playing for? Yeah! Survivor Dearborn, Season 2, Blood vs. Water, first challenge. Survivors ready? Go! Oh, Anthony, Anthony, Anthony. Anthony and Gian going out first. Anthony going out for the long one. Gian comes back for the short one. Emily goes out for another short one. Go, Emily, go, Emily, go, Emily, go. We'll see how this strategy pays off. Patrick with one. Red Tribe in the lead with three. Blue Tribe has yet to have one. Anthony comes back with one. So Lino hanging out. Lily's out there right now. Comes down to speed, but it also comes down to the puzzle. Leno and Lily coming back. Delano puts them at two. Lily puts them at four. Charlie and Val heading out. Charlie goes to an easy one. Val heading back for a hard one. Andre heading out. Red Tribe has five. Puzzle people cannot start the puzzle yet. 
Chad and Andre. Andre coming back with the sixth one. There are eight. Cam coming back. Try it. Come on, Cam. Who has four? Ryan. On the line up. Seven. They have one more left. Michael's gonna head out for them. Lena heading back. Lena heads out with one. Haley going out for the blue side now. Michael is the only one. He's heading back. When he gets back, puzzle people. Red Tribe, start your puzzle! Blue Tribe, you guys gotta pick it up! Matt heading out with one. Henry's last. Go, Henry, go! Henry, Jeff coming over. Alright, where's Evan? Red Tribe, who wants it? Gian? Who wants the carbs? Ryan, go ahead. Oh, yeah, Ryan! Oh, yeah. Blue Tribe, got a blue carb for it. Red Tribe, you guys can head back to camp. Blue Tribe, I got the tarp for you, but one of you has to leave. I'll see you guys at Tribal. Enjoying Survivor Dearborn so far? Blue team, let's go! Woo! Yeah! Head on over to SurvivorDearborn.Weebly.com, click the Fan Favorite Voting tab, scroll down, click on the link, select your favorite player, and press Submit. You can vote for whoever you want, as many times as you want. Voting closes the night before the finale. Enjoy the rest of the season. Oh yeah. I survived. Yeah. How do they taste, Jan? Bell Vita, go flavor. sponsor uh, Survivor Dearborn. That last challenge, I thought we like kicked ass. All of us really just didn't half-ass it. We we just hauled. We hauled all for, uh, for all those cups. And having uh, one of the brightest faces in our school with Anna Crandall and uh, the 36 genius ACT with Evan. I thought we had the advantage there since you know their vocabulary is probably better than mine. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. Make sure we don't clog hey, Charlie Richie's toilet. To <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have both times. Oh, I'm sorry. You want? I'm just gonna see if we can tie it with sticks. <laughs> oh, that's gonna snap. <laughs> Our team, as expected, was dominant in the first challenge. Team morale is high to start off with. We had an invitation from Charlie to a small alliance with him and Evan Latham, as well as Emily Reinhardt. I didn't say anything. I just said I'll think about it. Charlie will probably be a good ally to have in the future, but I think in this team stage, I don't want to split up our big team. You guys want to like... I have no idea what happened. We came up with a good strategy, but then, I don't know, I think the red team just kind of went for it, and, you know, instinct over strategy prevailed. I think we overthink it. Overthunk it. Overthinked it. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know who we're voting out right now. I definitely have a target on my back. Um, I feel like we have to eliminate the weak people first. We're going to keep losing. Can you help? Yeah, I'm like five to five times. <laughs> Okay, that's good. 
You can tell other people are telling you. I felt after that challenge, we're stronger on our strategizing because I don't think we had, but I think we all know who's going home. And I think that's going to be Matt Gaynor. So you do feel like we should go home first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think if we have so to, Matt we'll go first. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah, no, so it's, it's Cam. You, you have two, right? Yeah, Anthony and Elena. It's Delano. Oh, Delano and Elena. Oh, okay. So. Okay, and then yeah. And okay, then cool. we just need to keep it out for challenge. So yeah. I don't think he yeah, really yeah. is. We can keep him out of the loop. Yeah. For sure. Henry is trying to, really hard to be a really strategic player. I'm, I'm basically like the go-between between Cam and Henry, and we're getting Henry and his people to think that Cam is on our side. It seems like a messy situation right now. I seem kind of like the odd man out in, in the alliance at the moment because I'm close with Cam and Santana, but they're much closer together than I am. And then there's Haley and Elena who are really close together. So everything's kind of up in the air right now. Going into Tribal, there's like a little alliance form running up between Gaynor, Henry Rich, and the uh, Hancock, a little twin. Uh, a little uneasy about that, might try and break that up. Not really sure where Delano and Santana are lying, but I'm, I'm hoping Santana's on our side, and Delano might be the wild card on this tribe, but uh, I guess we're gonna see. Uh, that challenge was absolutely terrible, it sucked. Uh, I don't think that I was going home today. the way that people vote tonight? I do not think that will affect the way they vote tonight. I feel like we have a strong tribe and he just doesn't play a bad game. Well, at this point in the game, what are you looking at to vote somebody out? I think we just gotta look as like, you know, what's making us a good team, like what's making us uh, gonna be strong in challenges. Uh, you know, I hate to see any of these guys go, they all seem pretty cool, but, uh, but you know, we gotta, we gotta get out there, we gotta win. Uh, and keep our, our tribe safe and you know, get some, get some uh, nice rewards for us. If I understand correctly, the weakest link? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say it that way, uh, but I, I just think, you know, in some of these challenges we need uh, certain skill sets. Okay. Jacob, is that how you're going to be voting tonight? Yeah. Yeah, I think right now there's a lot that could happen, and I think we need to prepare more our tribe than for the end game at this point, especially considering we just lost the first season new challenge. Elena, is one of the three women here Ooh. Do you feel like you guys could be targeted? Well, I think we will definitely be targeted because there's fewer women here. But I think it will also make us stronger as well. Matt. Yeah. Have you seen any alliances being formed? Uh, yeah, I think I've seen a couple alliances. Do you care to share? No. No? <laughs> Does anybody care to share? No. So I know. Do you have a sense of who's going home tonight? I do, but I'm not going to say. You're not going to say? Yeah. Is it like this person's going home or is it between two people? You know, I think it's between two people, but I'm not going to give any more details because I'm, I'm a great man. Haley, last season we had about four, if you want to count, five volunteers in a row. Is everybody here competitive? Is this going to be hard to vote somebody out because people want to be here? I think everyone here wants to and deserves to be here. It's really hard to pick someone, um, but you know we got to go with our team. You know, what's going to get us to the merge? Definitely, everybody worked really hard in the challenge. I'm really proud. Um, it's tough, but you know you came, you did, you did this one challenge. You helped the team out. So now, does anybody have anything else to say? No. Matt, you're up. Oh, one 
He's the strongest competitor on our team. Sorry, Matt, it just had to happen. Sorry, buddy. Kelly the vote. If anybody has a hidden immunity idol and you want to play it, now would be the time to do so. I'll read the votes. First vote. Matt. Henry. Val. Matt. It's too Matt. Henry. It's too Henry. Matt. Henry. It's three. Henry. Three Matt. Henry. The first person voted on a Survivor Dearborn Blood versus Water. Henry. That's five, that's enough, that'll do it today. Oh, keep playing the game, Henry. Henry, the tribe has spoken. Time for you to go. Good day, Henry. Yeah. Henry, I'll miss you. All right, first one voted off. That was not a volunteer. I can only imagine how hard it is for you guys to lose one member this early. You guys got a competition coming up. Hopefully you guys can turn this game around. You guys can head back to camp. Stay tuned for scenes from our next episode. Next time on Survivor Dearborn. While the blue tribe is bonding in the pool, Emily is looking for an idol that she already has. I, don't, I haven't told anyone yet. And the competition gets physical. Well, I really didn't think I was going to get voted off. I was a blind side there, so that's all I have to say. It's a video. <laughs>